again, why do they recur? Because once you have the explosion, we start the cycle all over again. The red giant spills out of its Roche lobe and layers hydrogen gas and some helium until it hits that threshold once again. The fact that this repeats every 80 years means, yeah, that's a once in a lifetime event. We've all heard people describe eclipses that way, once in a lifetime event. Well, that's just BS, bologna sandwich. Because there's an eclipse, a total solar eclipse somewhere in the world every two and a half years or so. They're simply not coming to you that often, but they're coming to Earth more often than the Olympics. So there's another kind of object out there where you have a binary system, once again, a red giant and a white dwarf. And if the white dwarf is already near a different kind of threshold in mass, a threshold first calculated by the, the brilliant Indian astrophysicist Subrahmanyan Chandrasekhar, he noted that if you have a white dwarf that's near a limit, what limit is that? About 1.4 times the mass of the sun. And you drop some more material on it? Oh, it's no longer just let's explode the outer surface. The entire star, white dwarf, goes unstable. And it collapses and becomes a supernova.